Hey there, Tommy from The Run Testers. In this video, myself and Nick are gonna be taking a look at the Puma Forever Run Nitro. Let's take a look. The Puma Forever Run Nitro costs 140 pounds or $150. It weighs in at 270 grams or 9.5 ounces for men in a size eight, and the drop is 10 millimeters. Puma Forever on Nitro is a stability running shoe that veers more towards the subtle side of support. The Nitro midsole foam features two foam densities, a softer middle section and a firmer outer, aiming to be both responsive and cushioned. There's an asymmetrical heel counter to hold the foot in place and a wider medial rubber segment to improve stability. Other design features include power tape on the upper to improve support, a run guide rail to keep the foot centrally aligned, and an impressive Puma Grip outsole for traction across different terrains and conditions. Uh, I had no problems with the fit of the Puma Forever on Nitro in my normal size. It's got a nice roomy toe box and a good hold around the heel and midfoot. So yeah, all good, true to size. So the fit for me in the Forever on Nitro, I'd say true to size. It's a very comfortable shoe, fits quite nicely. It is quite roomy, so I do find, and I don't do this very often, I do have to really tighten the laces down to get a nice secure fit. Um, but I definitely would stick true to size in it. <laughs> So I am generally a neutral runner, but I was quite pleased to be testing the Forever on Nitro lately as I've been coming back from a small knee niggle and the stability it offers actually has been very welcome on easy runs and long runs, that kind of thing. I'm a fan of the feel of Puma's Nitro foam. It's not the most explosive or soft and bouncy foam on the market, but it is a little bit of all those things and it's comfortable and it works well in a variety of their shoes. And I think this is now a good, strong, almost max cushioned option within their lineup, whether you're a stability runner or not. I think my first First run in the Forever Nitro was just 10 miles, just uh, pootling along roads and some light trails. And once again, Puma's Puma Grip outsole comes into its own there. You, you can go onto those light trails with no problem. You're gonna have good grip. Might get some gravel stuck in those holes, but that didn't happen to me. Uh, since then, I've just generally used it for a few easy runs here and there with one run where I tried to up the pace a little bit. And it's not completely lacking in versatility. If you're looking at it as a max cushion shoe, I mean, it's not quite as high as the stacks on uh, things like the Invincible or the Gel Nimbus 25, but it's not far off those stacks. Um, and it's certainly a lighter, nimbler faster shoe than those shoes but it is a little bit big uh, it's not a fantastic all-rounder but i do think it will work as an okay all-rounder especially if you're a newer runner looking to pick up one shoe with a little bit of stability that you can do a bit of everything in forever on nitro i think will work very well as that shoe For the most part though this is a shoe that does a great job of easy runs the ride is reasonably smooth it's not quite as smooth as something like the gel nimbus 25 but it does roll through quite nicely it's certainly stable it's comfortable uh, and it's not too hefty so it is just a really quite a good shoe that i have enjoyed using without it startling me in any way by being amazing at anything it, but it is just a really good shoe and I think it fits into Puma's lineup of training shoes really well it's just another really practical well thought out shoe that does its job really well whether you need a shoe that does its job as a stable very well cushioned shoe is kind of up to the runner but, but in my testing I found that it achieves pretty much exactly what it sets out to do in providing that stable cushioned ride so most of my runs in the Puma Forever and Nitro have been fairly easy runs between about 10k and about 10 miles and I've not really been going all out in it I've just been plodding along or going at my consistent sort of marathon training pace, which is probably around four, 45 minute kilometers. And what I found about the shoe is that I, I really like it. It's, it's just a really nice, solid, comfortable shoe. And what I'd say about um, this shoe, uh, as well as a few other shoes out at the moment, is there seems to be a new breed of stability shoes that's starting to appear quite a lot. And these are shoes that they're not full on stability. And if you're used to wearing a, a training something like the Gel Keanu range, that's quite a noticeable level of stability. If you're not a stability running and you try those shoes on, they can feel quite chunky, they can feel quite uh, heavy, and they're not particularly versatile when it comes to training um, at different paces and things like that. The Forever and Nitro is one of those new, one of these new sorts of running shoes where stability shoes where it veers more towards a normal shoe uh, and when i say normal shoe i mean one that doesn't have stability in it because the stability in it is very subtle and and that, i think that's a good thing because a lot of people probably do will benefit from having a bit of stability in their shoes especially if you're doing a lot of miles um and it 
really doesn't impact the run in this shoe. Other shoes are, are similar to it, things like the Saucony Tempus and the um, New Balance 1080 V12, which have this subtle level of stability, which you can sort of feel a bit. And it does feel like a, a nice stable shoe when you're running in it, but it doesn't feel overly stable, like it's really forcing your foot into a position. So if you're looking for loads of stability and you're used to running one of those shoes that's got a lot of stability, this might not be enough for you. But what I've found on those runs is that it just runs like a really comfortable cushion shoe and I didn't really notice many stability elements in it when I was running unless I was really trying to find out where they were when you sort of um, move your foot a little bit to the left and right to see see where that stability fits. Um, but I found that it was a very comfortable shoe to run in for nice easy runs. I could run uh, comfortably for quite a while. When I got up to 10 miles in this shoe I felt like I could go quite a lot longer. It didn't feel clunky. It didn't feel like it wasn't designed for running longer distances. So it's really a nice accessible stability shoe that just helps out with a little bit of stability. Um, and I, I'm happy to run in this shoe as a neutral runner and it's completely fine. I don't feel like it's it, I, there's there's better shoes for me um, when it comes to that sort of mid-level cushioning that you get in this. And the cushioning is noticeable in this shoe. Puma don't have that many shoes that have a lot of cushioning in. This is probably one of the shoes that they've got, which has actually got a fairly noticeable feel to it. It does feel slightly soft when you're running in it. Um, and in, in, in combination with the quite loose padded upper, it's a very plush feeling shoe to run in. It's very comfy, it's very nice uh, and enjoyable to run in um, when you're clocking up the miles. So yeah, I've really enjoyed running in the shoe um, in, in training runs. I think it's a solid, subtle, cushioned stability shoe and it's definitely very applicable to a lot of runners. Um, I'd also say that, and this is we always say this when it comes to Puma, the outsole, Puma Grip outsole is fantastic. I was out running on the seafront today, it was a bit wet. The, it's very hard to find outsole rubber on shoes as good as what you get on on Pumas. Um, so fantastic outsole on it. I did get a few rocks in these these bits. I know Nick said he didn't. I did. Uh, I ran around a park the other day and got a few rocks in these little holes at the front. Not a major issue. Didn't notice until I got home. But um, a little bit of a design issue there, which um, is is not not a, not going to stop me getting or not going to stop me wearing them. But um, yeah, if you if you're not into rocks getting in shoes, you might get it on these. Uh, the other thing I'd say as well is the upper is really comfortable. There's a lot of, there's plenty of padding around a lot of the sections of the shoe. The tongue is actually quite a nice design. It's not massive, it's not really heavily padded tongue, but when you're wearing it, you, you do notice that it's quite well designed for this subtle level of padding. So yeah, I found it to be a very comfortable shoe as well. <laughs> I think the Forever on Nitro is a really good cushion shoe and I think runners should be looking at it whether they uh, are in need of stability or not. Whether you actually take the plunge probably will depend on whether you do need those stability elements. I think if you are someone who has always used support shoes, this is a really good new option to have on the market. It's lighter, a little bit more versatile than the classic options like the uh, Gel Kayano line or the Brooks Adrenaline line. It's, it's not quite as lightweight and lively as the Saucony Tempus, which I prefer as a general tra daily trainer myself, but the fact that it is a little bit firmer and more supportive probably does help a little on the stability front and it just makes it a very good option for cruising through easy runs long runs you know your daily training with a little bit of versatility there if you're someone who is just keen to use one shoe and wants a stable shoe that they can also use for some tempo runs that kind of thing uh, it's pretty well priced as well you know it's not cheap but it is about par for the course or slightly cheaper than other options in its range uh, and i think the ride is pretty fun like, i'd have no problem using this for all my easy and long runs but as a runner who doesn't need stability generally and i prefer Probably slightly less cushioning, even on my cushion shoe. I would opt for something like the Puma Velocity Nitro myself, which is a fair bit cheaper, has a slightly bouncier ride, a little bit more fun ride. But if you are appreciative of those stability elements, and it's not a bad thing to have in a shoe, especially if you are grinding through you know, a lot of runs during marathon training or something like that, then the Forever Nitro is a very solid option to have out there. I think it particularly might be an interesting shoe for newer runners to look at because you know when I was starting out, I used a shoe with about this level of weight and cushioning and used it for pretty much everything. I think the fact this has got those stability elements also makes it quite a Appealing and it's not incredibly expensive, has a good outsole, should last well, and you can use it on park trails. So I think it's a nice all rounder for those newer runners who aren't necessarily keen to build out a rotation and get very speedy shoes yet, because it does offer a good practical ride and setup in general. I'm not a huge fan of the look, but other than that, I think it's a shoe that ticks all the boxes that it aims to tick. And whether it's something you should go for really just depends on whether you're a runner who wants those boxes ticked. So, so I wouldn't myself, I don't want this much cushioning, I don't necessarily need those stability elements, but lots of runners will appreciate both of them, I think. So my verdict on the Puma Forever on Nitro is that it's a solid, 
subtle stability shoe that really it's not the most versatile shoe in the world but it's also it's it's more like a daily trainer for me really like i've got a lot of daily trainers that i i run in and i don't feel a massive difference between this shoe and those so the stability side of it is really um not a, not a big thing um i think there's enough stability in it for it to offer assistance there's a nice wide base on it um, and you do feel like the foot is firmly in place when you're running in it. But I don't think it's an overly aggressive level of stability where it's really forcing your foot into a position. So I think this is a great accessible shoe for anyone, basically, um, especially if you're maybe a beginner runner and you're not too sure what sort of shoe you need to use. You're a bit worried about stability. Somebody might have suggested that you need a bit of stability at some point. This is probably a, a good option for that. And yeah, I, I think anybody could use this shoe and find it really comfortable, whether you uh, need some stability or you're a, new, a completely neutral runner. It's it's great for that. Um, and I'm more than happy to use this for for majority of my training runs at the moment because it's just very comfortable. And it's nice to see that Puma is moving more towards this style of shoe as well. That, that cushioning that sits in the midsole is a little bit more so, a little bit softer than I found in a lot of Puma shoes. Um, and it's a nice welcome addition to the range I think um, and for the price I think it's a really good value as well so when you put it up against some of the other shoes out there um, in the same ballpark in the same um, sort of shoe it's well priced um, and hopefully as with a lot of Puma shoes it will go down in price um, relatively soon so and I think if that's the case I think it would be well worth uh, an addition to most people's armory um, but definitely for beginners who maybe want one shoe just for all of their training runs um, but maybe not for races and things like that. So that's it from me and Nick on the Puma Forever on Nitro. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click the bell, all those things, and check the channel out for loads of other videos. We've got loads coming out at the moment. And if you haven't listened to it yet, you can also um, download our podcast, uh, which is in the link in the caption below. Thanks a lot for watching. Catch you later.